Today we're going to make this workbench out of laminated 2x4s for under $100. We started by cutting the boards for the tabletop down to rough length. I wasn't too concerned about the preciseness of this since we were going to be trimming the top down to length later. Next we arranged the wood for the top of the table in a visually pleasing way. We proceeded to glue and screw all the boards together. I could have used clamps here, which would have probably resulted in a tighter glue up, but I didn't have enough at the time. Also, make sure that you track where the screws are. As you will see later, they can cause problems if you are careless. This tabletop is 16 2x4s wide, or roughly 2x4 feet. I glued it up in two sections so that it would fit through my planer. Planing the table allowed me to remove all the excess glue, as well as the rounded edges from the lumber. It also gives you a really nice flat surface to work from. I also planed down about 8 2x4s which I would use for the legs. Then I glued and clamped both sides together. After it dried, I used a block plane to remove any of the excess glue and some of the raised surface. Now that the top was mostly done, I started on the legs by cutting the lumber down to length. The leg structure is made out of two 2x4s laminated together, but I cut and fit everything individually before gluing the pieces together. Here you can see the leg structure. I used a table saw to cut a number of the different rabbit and lap joints. There are many other ways to do this joinery, some of which I'll show later in this video. I used a chisel to just clean things up a little bit. Unfortunately it started to rain, so instead of using a table saw I switched to a jigsaw. After dry fitting everything together, I proceeded to glue each section of the legs together and fasten them with my finish nailer. You could also clamp or screw them together. Then I sanded all the leg pieces. The tabletop was too thick to cut with one pass of my circular saw. So I had to cut one side and then flip it over and complete the cut. I also misjudged where the screws were and I ended up cutting through a few of them. It's not the end of the world since this is just a workbench and it's going to get beat up anyway, but I should have just kept better track of where to put the screws. I sanded the tabletop down with 120 grit sandpaper. After that, I began to glue, screw, and dowel the leg pieces together. Alright, so I'm using a half inch spinning bit and a 3 16th inch regular drill bit. So I'm going to drill it with this uh, to countersink it um, and allow extra space for the pocket hole screw 
to move around and then this will also just be going through the top um, piece so it's a little bit bigger than the base of the screw and will allow uh, movement there as well. This is important since the tabletop will expand and contract with changes in the humidity. Here I use glue and dowels to hold the legs to the base of the legs. Trim the dowels flush with my pool saw. For most of the rest of the joints, I glued and then screwed them together and used the dowel to fill the hole. I chamfered the edges of the feet to reduce the chance that wood would splinter off when the edges hit the floor. I also sanded off any excess glue and leveled out some of the joints. Then I applied a couple coats of water-based matte finish poly and added some plastic feet and I was done. I feel like I say this in every video, but I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. This thing is super solid and it's going to make future projects much easier. I certainly made a few mistakes and some of the joints aren't really perfect, but I'm really happy. A few things I would suggest, if at all possible, just glue and clamp the top together. You will get a lot less board separation and you won't have to deal with the issue of hitting screws when you're cutting things down. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Also, check out another one of my builds, and I'll see you in the next episode.